Hello again. I'm Dr. Bruce Warrington, Australia's Chief Metrologist. Today I want to talk about the kilogram, the unit for mass or weight, which has a long history. One of the earliest units of measure from over 2,000 years ago was based on a grain, a single barley seed, still used today to measure the mass of bullets, arrows and some medicines. By 1824, the English imperial pound was defined as 7,000 grains exactly. Interestingly, that's about 70 jelly babies. Around the same time in France, the new metric system proposed the kilogram, based on the mass of a cube of pure water 10 centimetres on a side. In 1875, 17 countries signed a treaty to adopt the metre and the kilogram. A special kilogram was made out of a platinum alloy to be the international reference, known as Big K, and copies were distributed to countries using the metric system. Australia joined formally in 1947, and here's our copy of Big K, kept at the National Measurement Institute in Sydney. Just last year, in 2018, the nations of the world agreed to a new definition for the kilogram, based on a fixed constant of nature, Planck's constant. The best measurements of mass can now be made using an electromagnetic kibble balance, and we no longer risk big K being lost or damaged. Thanks for listening, and stay tuned for more on the basic units of measurement.